there is no such thing as the best settings for RPC simulator. These are the my configurations that I use to play PS3 games on PC. You can pause the video and copy this. There is a settings enable SPU loop detection. You can either enable it or disable it. Uh, it depends on the games. And if I come to the GPU section, as you can see, these are my settings and the resolution scale. I keep it below 720p because my graphics card is RTX 3060 and it sometimes has issue. The right color buffers de also depends on the games. As you know that uh, these are the settings in the audio settings. These are the audio settings and the rest are basically the default. There's nothing else. Those everything is the default settings as you can see. You cannot run the game directly on the RPC simulator. Uh, so you have to just like uh, extract the game and make it a folder game. I will show you how to do that. Just wait for a moment. And then there you open it. You just copy the inside all these three files copy to and you just uh, create a folder. There we go as the games are getting copied into the folder and this is how you make any game a uh, folder game. I'm going to fast forward this video. So once it is done and you just cross it and you go to the folder as you can see this is where the game is so we'll go back to RPC is 3 and now we will click on uh, manage and we will go to game patches right now so once we are here in this menu you just search for the game's name for me it is Assassin's Creed and we are going to apply a patch according to the region of this game which is European game BLES means Europe US means United States and NBJP means J uh, Japan so here we go we just open up the game using select folder and now the game should ru uh, run smoothly sorry I fumbled and I'm again going to fast forward this video So as you can see the game is running fine and I will show you how it looks from inside. So the game is completely playable, it is not lagging at all, it is just this scene in the game is uh, quite, uh, what to say, it's quite like this because Desmond is actually inside the Animus and is, it is his first time that he is doing, the people who played Assassin's Creed 1 would know, the game is completely playable and in the bottom left corner there is showing compiling shaders because uh, the game slowly renders and it will compile shaders. This is how the RPCS3 just works. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Share as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.